This is ProPresenter 7.1, and that really matters for what I'm about to tell you. So if you've got any version earlier than ProPresenter 7.1, you won't see this. So that's the very first thing. Uh, second thing, we are going to do some kind of advanced stuff that maybe you've got another way of doing this that's better for you. That's fine. This is for churches that are just now getting into live streaming and they want a choice other than using OBS or other than using third-party software and they've already got ProPresenter 7. So, first thing we're going to do is you'll see that I've got my lyrics up here. I can switch between them just as uh, you would expect. Um, but there's a new thing right up here. It says live. Now, just like these, it's not lit up, so it's not actually working right now. That's because I need to uh, actually make some choices. So let's first go into capture settings. And let me drag that over because we're looking at a different display than I normally use. And the first thing you need to know is where are you capturing from? I have five or six displays configured for this system right now. So the connected display is actually the one you're looking at. You'll notice that that's off. So um, I'm not going to use that. What I'm going to use is the placeholder screen. And I've created a placeholder screen because this isn't actually going anywhere except recording and the live stream. So I don't need it to be connected to something. I mean, I absolutely could have connected it to an output, but I don't need to. Then my I should uh, decide whether I'm recording, so my destination is disk, or live streaming with RTMP. If I'm live streaming with RTMP, then I can select that, put in the address, put in the key that you'll get from your live streaming host, whether it's uh, YouTube, Facebook, Stream Monkey, ChurchStreaming.tv, StreamingChurch.tv, etc., etc., etc. If you need to send it to multiple places, uh, take a look at Restream EO. That's R E S T R E A M dot I O. That's one. Uh, there's a couple of them that do that. So you put that information in. Then you need to select the frame rate and the resolution. So right now I've chosen 720p 30, but I could absolutely go with uh, 1080p 60 if I have more than 9 megabits per second. So this is very helpful in that it shows you how much uh, resolution and how many frames per second you should use when you're live streaming based on your upload speed. I'd add that these are minimums. So probably a best case scenario would be to double that to know that you're totally good or at least add 50% for a little bit of fluctuation. So if you have 6 megabits per second, I think I would do 720p 30. And this is upload speed, so check that on speedtest.net or whatever. So select that. And if you want to also record locally, you can click Save Local Copy right here. And then it'll ask you where you want to save it to. And you can navigate to wherever. Okay, And then click Start Capture. Or if all that is already set, you can just go click up live and select uh, Start Capture. And that'll do it. Now you might be thinking, under what circumstance would I ever want to output just my slides? Well, what if you use the live video down here as a video switcher? So let's 
instead of the connected display, I'm going to go and show you my placeholder screen. And I have a couple of cameras hooked up. So here I am. Sorry, it's doing a few things and I haven't, uh, this is actually the last tutorial I'm ever doing on my 2017 MacBook Pro, my 19 inch uh, MacBook Pro that's an i9 just came in. So you will need a pretty beefy machine to do what I'm showing you, um, especially if you have multiple video inputs. But I've got this one, this is actually Cam Twist with um, camera live so that's my DSLR right there and then I have my FaceTime camera right here notice the FaceTime camera is working a little bit better so there you go and you'll notice that I've got a lower third down here so I just in looks I applied a different theme to the lower third um, so that we can um, have lower third lyrics trying to get these right there, right there, lower third lyrics um, with just my regular lyrics going out to my projector. So that's a very helpful thing. Um, I have also set it up to where the um, media layer is not showing here. Well, notice that that lit up, but since I changed this in looks, it doesn't show up here, but it does show up on my connected display. So I can do both right out of ProPresenter. It makes it really easy, and that's how you can live stream from ProPresenter and use it basically as a video switcher. So that's very, very cool, something it couldn't do before, and as of today, it can.